Here is how you control iPhone using your eyes. But first, hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. It really helps me out. Thank you. So let's start by opening settings. Then we will scroll all the way down and select accessibility. Inside of this one, we will scroll down and we're looking for the eye tracking option. You need the iOS 18 software to get eye tracking and the older iPhones do not have this feature. So if you don't have the feature, your iPhone is not supported. So let's go into eye tracking and then we'll turn it on. So now what we need to do is look at the dots with our eyes. So it's going to show a dot and you just stare at it with your eyes and it's, the dot's going to move. And so you just got to keep on you know, tracking with your eyes where that dot is. This setup takes one to two minutes. Once the setup is done, you use your eyes to look at what you want to select. If you long press on something, so you just keep your eyes on it, then it will turn on or off that toggle. So in my case, I you know, tap the toggle for eye tracking. So I'll go onto the cancel, select cancel. Now, if I wanted to, let's say, go home, for example, you see this little circle here. If I put my eyes on the circle, so put my eyes on the circle, I need to turn back on the dwell control. And I'm gonna put my eyes on the circle or attempt to, you can see the eye tracking isn't the best. I'm trying to look at this here. It's not letting me, but um, let's get into the menu. So that is the menu and you can see all these options. So I can look at home and it'll take me home. It is very hard to use this. However, hopefully you get the general idea. That button brings up the menu. Is this something you should use? No, this is more of a party trick, unless you know, of course, you do need that accessibility feature because you can't use your hands, etc. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully this video helps.